had a dear friend, uh, Ruby, and Ruby used to help with my family taking care of my kids. And um, she had cancer, and we were at, at Bowman Gray, and it was determined that the cancer was going to take her life because she wasn't going to seek further treatment. And we felt that hospice would be appropriate, and we asked the doctor, she and, and I, um, about having hospice come out to her home. And he said, oh, sure. And I just assumed that it was this hospice, the, the Kate B. Reynolds hospice. But when I went to Ruby's to meet with the hospice care person who was coming for her initial interview, it was not a representative from KBR Hospice. They were from someplace else, I don't even remember now. I went, well, you know, this, this isn't what I asked for because I felt like she might eventually need a place to stay, which she did. The name change is important because everyone needs to know one name that, that we can give so that we know the quality of care that we're gonna get. I love the visual image of a trellis. It really illustrates what we do. Uh, it is a strong structure that's there, whether we need strength or not. So on a good day, we might not even recognize that the trellis is holding us up. But on a very bad and stormy day, we don't have to worry because the trellis is still holding us up. And this is, I think, so much more descriptive of what we do in our work. I really believe that. I gave the name Kudzu for the hospice. And uh, Anne, before the name was released, uh, did call me and say that she hoped I wouldn't cry too much because the name of Kudzu was not chosen for trellis supportive care, but we were trying to capitalize on our services being able to exist anywhere, even in homes where there was little support. And I said the only thing I could think of that could exist anywhere was kudzu, which provoked a laugh, but not a selection. <laughs> our care has always set us apart, and now our name does too.